Orville, why do you look sad? Because I'm ugly. Now you listen to me. There once was an ugly duckling. There still is me. With feathers all stubby and brown. But I'm tubby and green. And the other birds, in so many words, said, Quack, get out of town. They said, Quack, quack, get out. Quack, quack, get out. Quack, quack, get out of town. Do it again. Quack, get out. Quack, quack, get out. Quack, quack, get out of town. And he went with a quack and a waddle and a quack. And the flurry of Ida down. That poor little ugly duckling went wandering far and near. But in every place they said to his face, Now quack, get out of here. They said quack, get out, quack, quack, get out, quack, quack, get out of here. said to him, was it? No, well, you see, Orville, they didn't quite understand him because, well, when he was born, he was a little bit different from his brothers and sisters. In fact, they wouldn't talk to him. Wouldn't they? No, he was ostracized. Well, he was a big duck. No, he was a little duck. But you said he was ostracized. Not ostracized, ostracized. You see, well, the difference was a... Uh, well, he was sort of ugly, but but underneath, he was beautiful. He should have walked upside down then. <laughs> I wish, I wish I was beautiful. You do. I want to be really beautiful. Not like one of those Norfolk turkeys, I hope. No, no one to be like one of those. But Orville, we do think you're lovely. We do. Of course we do. You're not such an ugly duckling. I know feathers all stubby or brown. Now we all agree that you are indeed. You're the best birdie here in the town. And we say quack, you're the best. Quack, quack, I'm the best. Quack, quack, you're the best in town. If you try, I try. Now who's an ugly duckling? 